Hello everyone out there. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Shubham. I am pursuing medicine in Kharki National Medical University. And today I am going to talk about uh, one topic uh, from the microbiology. And however you may come across with this topic in the infectious disease also. And uh, I am going to talk about the brucellosis. Okay. And brucellosis is quite uncommon. Uh, as far as uh, our internship is concerned because you may not find the patients uh, regarding the brucellosis or uh, uh, having the brucellosis uh, because it is quite uncommon it is uh, rare very rare and uh, but the mc but from the mcq point of view as far as mcqs are concerned this is quite common in the mcq so that's why uh, we have to study about this as well so brucellosis. So if you talk about the brucellosis, brucellosis is actually uh, it is a worldwide genotic infection. Okay. So what does it mean? Genotic. Genotic means it is coming from the animal side. Okay. So whenever you are seeing the uh, question over there, they are mentioning about the herd of cattle. Okay. Or they are talking about the unpasteurized milk. Okay. From the now it may be from the goat. It may be from the sheep. It may be from the any kind of cattle right so the infected cattle so they can uh, release the uh, this bacteria however it is a gram negative uh, cocci right but uh, on the microbiological as far as microbiology is concerned uh, it may be gram variable so it may show the gram positive as well as gram negative however remember that it is a gram negative cocobacillus fine so it is a gram negative bacteria so some kind of cattle who are infected with the brucella they can release the brucella in their secretions for an example they can release their secretions uh, for example the milk right and whenever a person drinks that milk he may be infected with the brucella right so it is a worldwide genotic infection transmitted to humans uh, by contact with the herds or cattle okay or from the infected animals right further if you talk about the etiological factors or the etiology right so if you talk about the etiology it is caused by the brucella species now we are having specifically however we are having the many kind of species of the brucella but for us uh, four important species are important and those uh, four brucella species are uh, these are the brucella melitensis okay which is quite uh, important for us to know which is quite common among all the four species of the brucella right so basically uh, the so the brucella melitensis and uh, brucella abortus brucella canis okay and we have we are having the brucella suis so brucella melitensis is quite common among all these four species of the brucella right and uh, brucella melitensis if you talk about this brucella melitensis it is coming from the sheep okay and goat specifically brucella melitensis which is quite common coming from the sheep and goat okay so the persons who are infected who are infected either they are drinking the milk uh, either they are drinking the milk from the goat and the sheep okay or <coughs> they are having some kind of contact with these animals right so brucella melitensis is quite common if you talk about next one so the next category is about the brucella abortus now brucella abortus is quite common with the contact with the cattle usually okay quite for example cows right so those persons who are having the contact with the uh, cattle or the or their milk okay or by the drinking of the milk they can be affected by the brucella abortus okay next category is brucella suis now brucella suis is coming from your swine okay that is pigs okay so the brucella suis is coming from the pigs coming in the contact with those okay and uh, <coughs> the next category is brucella canis and brucella canis uh, is uh, among is very rare among all these four species okay and it is coming from the dog dogs who are uh, caring about the dogs usually okay and who are having the pets like dogs and they are having the risk of brucella canis okay now if you talk about uh, so we have talked about the etiological factor we have talked about uh, from where they are coming and who are the persons who are uh, are having the risk of that so which persons are having the risk of getting the brucellosis 
the persons who are having the pets like uh, cattle okay the dogs okay some people uh, are in contact with the pigs as well right and some persons are having the uh, like the the persons who are, uh, who are working in the slaughtering houses right so these kind of persons are quite uh, uh, common with the risk of the brucellosis getting the brucellosis okay now if you talk about the clinical manifestations if you talk about the clinical manifestations now of the for the brucellosis now uh, there can be the fever and fever will be undulant the fever will be undulant undulant means that it is quite uh, you know fluctuating so it is quite fluctuating and it is not very 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 much highlighted uh, very much elevated it is not very much elevated rather it is slight elevation is there in the uh, graph of the fever okay but it is fluctuating in regular interval of time okay so that is one clinical manifestation of the brucellosis so uh, there can be the fever there can be the night sweats okay so sweating in the night then there can be arthralgia there can be myalgia okay and uh, fatigue is there anorexia uh, loss of appetite weight loss so these are some kind of symptoms there are some kind of clinical manifestations as far as brucellosis is concerned now if you talk about common sites okay if you talk about common sites of involvement so so what can be the common sites so your musculoskeletal system can be involved over there your musculoskeletal system can be involved your genito urinary system can be involved okay some kind of neurological symptoms can be there okay some kind of cardiovascular symptom can be there for example endocarditis now about the endocarditis it is very very rare but if any person is suffering from endocarditis from the brucellosis it is having highest mortality rate okay it is having hard highest mortality rate so it is quite rare but having the highest mortality rate as far as endocarditis is concerned okay now if i'm talking about the cardiovascular system all the layers of the heart can be inflamed okay so pericarditis myocarditis endocarditis can be found if serious involvement is there as far as brucellosis is concerned fine further if you say about the git hepatic abscess can be there okay ileitis can be there okay so involvement of your intestines as well fine so now if you talk about the lab diagnosis so what can be what can you found in the lab diagnosis if you do about the uh, cbc you can find you can find the pancytopenia so anemia can be there fine anemia can be there then there can be the uh, leukopenia right leukopenia can be there but with lymphocytosis leukopenia can be there but with lymphocyton lymphocytosis further thrombocytopenia can also be there okay what about the treatment tactics now treatment depends on the involvement of other systems also now whether it is focal or it is with the involvement of other systems as well now if the treatment if you are going to treat those persons who are having the uh, focal disease which means they are not having other involvement of the systems which is quite good for you to treat the patient okay it's quite quite good for you and quite good for the patient as well so Combina combination therapy is advised usually so usually there is the doxy which is the doxycycline right so doxycycline plus streptomycin work uh, uh, good for these patients these kind of patients who are having the focal disease of the brucellosis so doxycycline plus uh, streptomycin is given for these type of patient and what else you can uh, prefer doxycycline plus rifampicin for about three weeks okay so doxycycline uh, with the rifampicin is also a better alternative okay better tolerated as well in these patients okay now we will see the uh, symptoms uh, like clinical manifestation of the patients after giving these type of drugs whether we should continue those drugs or not okay i am talking about the focal disease only not with the involvement of the other systems okay now if uh, some person is having the involvement of other disease as well okay for example they are having the involvement of uh, your cns they are having the involvement of cvs so what can you do with that so drug therapy uh, tactics the treatment tactics slight changes okay and the duration also you have to extend the duration of the therapy as well okay because the disease is now complicated so what can you do over there in this case three drugs you may prescribe in those kind of patients so uh, three drug therapy is usually used with that okay 
so we will go with the doxycycline okay and with that we can add the rifampin or we can add the streptomycin and one more drug with that okay now we can extend the treatment duration from three weeks till six till six months okay three weeks to six months as well depending on the uh, situation of the patient okay now surgery may also be advised for those patients who are suffering from the uh, serious involvement for example endocarditis we may have we may uh, go forward with the valve replacement for an example okay it depends on the situation of the patient and the complication of the patient now what can be the preventions as far as brucellosis loss is concerned what can be the preventions you can uh, tell to the patient now the prevention is the pasteurization of the milk for example because unpasteurized milk is the basic factor over there who who for those patients who are suffering from brucellosis right because it is quite common for them because the oral route is quite common however the person may get brucellosis uh, with the skin abrasions also the with the, that person who are having the uh, brucellosis uh, however it is quite uncommon the oral route is quite common among these kind of patients so the pasteurization of the milk okay the control of the brucellosis slaughtering of those uh, uh, animals who are having the brucella what else you can do culling of the herds uh, herds of the cattle right protective uh, tactics over there the vaccination programs for the livestock for the animals for these cattle right and the uh, as i said pasteurization of the dairy milk so this was very short video about the brucellosis i hope you uh, like this video and uh, uh, it will help you in getting the preparation for the in the preparation for your brussel losses i hope this makes sense uh, thanks for watching it uh, stay healthy and keep enjoying thank you so much